what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Warning. This is going to be one of the most disgusting stories you'll ever hear. You may want to leave the room right now before I get started. I'm going to give you a few seconds. Okay. A city council member in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, has confirmed that college students are holding COVID-19 parties, inviting infected people and taking bets on who will get sick first. Family, where they get them from? What's happening fam? Help me out here. I understand there's a sense of invincibility when you're young. But damn, man. You may as well just jump out uh, jump out of a moving car. Talk about talk about ignorant. And these are supposed to be the smartest among us. Well, you know, it is Alabama. Let me let me back up a little bit. As of Thursday, the state has confirmed more than 38,000 coronavirus cases and 947 deaths. Authorities has warned that they are soon to run out of beds in the hospitals. They're at 82% capacity for ICU beds. Let me tell you something. Anybody who's engaging and risky behavior, any of those college students, and this is a college town, by the way, any of those students that are engaging in risky behavior, if they come through that hospital, they better not, they better not give them a bed, a ventilator, nothing. Let them get what they get since they're playing, since, since they think fat meat ain't greasy. Let them see what it's like. See, it's all fun and games because, you know, a lot of youngsters seem to be able to have a high resistance for a lot of the more severe symptoms of COVID-19. But, you know, that's all fine and dandy till they go home as a carrier and take it to the family and grandma gets sick. Granddaddy gets sick. And then they're wondering if they, they've been left in the wheel. Oh, grand, grandma, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to uh, rush your death. Uh, did you leave me anything? What's wrong with them, fam? Plain and simple. I would deny them services. I'd come in like, look. I probably have a wall of shame. All the faces on the wall of the ones that I caught out of pocket, all the ones that at the beaches and the ones who are at the having the COVID-19 parties. Oh yeah, I have a whole wall of shame. Oh you, oh hell no, get up out of here. Get out right now. This is for the people who want to live. Need to identify every single one of them. And here's something else, fam, what people don't understand. Just a two-week stay in the hospital with COVID could cost as much as $400,000. You know what I think? I think Alabama only exists to make Florida and Mississippi look good. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.